mission ship and we convoyed it, convoyed it around Panama up to the west coast. And then after that we went Pearl, Guam, Saipan, Ulithi, Anahuitac, and just the whole route out. And then we went back and forth a couple of times from uh, Okinawa to, to Guam. We'd pick up some more ships and take them back on convoy. And so we were doing convoy work as well. And then uh, when we got to, up to Okinawa, more most of the time while we were in a picket line where we would draw fire from the, the shore and then when they'd shoot at us, well then they'd, our ships and that would get them. So we were drawing fire and then stopping the kamikazes from coming in. Well, uh, they seemed like they always liked to stick us in the middle of something. <laughs> That's when we actually went into Okinawa, April 6th, 45. Uh, April 1st was uh, was Easter, and that's when they started the invasion of Okinawa. But we didn't we didn't have the the big air attack until the sixth. All I remember is we were coming in to, to uh, Okinawa, and the GQ alarm sound, and all these all these ships were there, and all all of a sudden all these planes kept coming over. And like like I said, there were 355 that day that were shot down. And everywhere you looked, there was something falling out of the sky. And, and we managed to get one of them. But that's that, that's all we we did, really. Everybody was busy. I mean, I think there was 1,200 ships there, if I'm not mistaken. But there was a gob of ships. I'm not sure about the figure, but, but there was a lot of ships there. Now, we had these four planes come over where the one went at us. That was before that. We had those four come at us, and we we got the first one. The rest got run off by our planes, and then uh, then later on was when that one hit us, and uh, it. Uh, I, I don't know exactly. All I know is I got tossed out of bed and, and started running for my gun. I, that, that's the first thing you think of. You got. I never did tie any shoelaces. The shoelaces we always. I had them loose and, and had the eyelets stuck. I had them had the shoelaces stuck in the eyes, so you could just slip on like slippers. I never tied shoelaces at all, so I could jump right in there and run. I didn't want to run barefooted. <laughs> but everybody was lucky that didn't get hurt. I mean, well, there's 14 got hurt and nothing real serious except for the guy that got killed. We had the bunks on each side of the passageway, actually called hallway passageway, and uh, and I was here, and he, he went across one bunk and then just down one bunk. He was only one bunk down from me, but across from me. So I was very fortunate. But we had holes all below and above me and everywhere else. I'd say that I was it scared, but I, I was shook up so bad I couldn't talk, so, but I was never... I just, I don't know, I was young. Actually, I I really thought at times I would never get home again, but I didn't worry about it because I was the only guy, and you don't think about that when you don't, you know, you don't have responsibility, don't have a wife or kids or anything. You just thought, well, what's ever going to happen is going to happen, and you, you really don't really give it a thought. 